Hi, welcome to the Handyverse. The last time we talked to you, we didn't know what we were going to do for our next project, but our dryer helped us out here by dying on us uh, yesterday. So it's uh, heating up, but the, the drum isn't tumbling. So we're going to take a look at that. That's our next project. Stick with us. Okay, so I moved the dryer into the workshop. Uh, I suspect it's probably a belt related issue. Either it's slipping or the belt is broken. The drum does rotate. Uh, it's a little stiff, so I don't know if the belt is caught up in there or not, but first thing to do is take this panel off here and take a look inside, see what we got. Look at that belts a very broken belt well that was a little bit easier to find than I was anticipating um, all right so I guess the net plan now is to get a belt on order and put this back together we have a problem what cats know how to turn on the tap by themselves great so if you have annoying cats, hit subscribe because apparently our next video is going to be on replacing a bathroom faucet with ones that the cats can't turn on. Okay, so I got the new belt. I'm going to uh, take this apart now so I can get this around the drum. And in order to do that, uh, I may have to put it on the floor, but I'm going to try it on the bench first just because it's a little easier to work on. I'm going to just take out these two screws here, pop the top off, turn it around, take off the front panel. Start with these two Phillips right here. just disconnected these wires from the front panel and uh, they were all pretty clearly marked except for two so I just uh, wrote down on the board where those do connect to so this is pretty dusty I'm gonna clean it up and uh, clean up in behind here since I'm doing it anyway like this plastic piece on the bottom maybe just pops off because this won't move as it is so nope. perfect okay all the screws are out I think so, let's try taking this off. Okay, so maybe the door does have to come off. You live and learn. So I noticed when taking these screws out here, that the bottom one doesn't actually need to come out it, uh, in order to take the door off. It has a slot there that I can lift it. It'll make it a bit easier, so I'm gonna put this one back in, take out the top two, lift the door off, and then remove these two, two screws. So once you have the door free, you want to look at your door switch and you want to disconnect the wires that are holding that on and then everything should come free. So this is what the switch looks like on the back. I'm going to pop those wires off and disconnect the switch. Nasty. 
Too many cats. Okay, so this is free enough now to put the belt around. It's running, it's uh, spinning freely. So that's good, uh, we're okay for bearings. We just need to get this belt around here and then back onto the, the pulleys in the back. Hopefully this is the right belt. Um, you want the ribbed, the ribbed portion on the inside to give it more friction and we're just going to slide it around the drum. We want to push it back so it clears uh, this hardware here and we can and then we can turn it around and uh, get at it from the back side of the machine. So now we're just going to take a look, see if we have it reasonably close to where the belt was before. So you can see here where the belt was on the drum. And that's where we want to attach it now. Okay, so let's turn this thing around and put the belt back on the pulleys. Okay, so I got the belt down here. It's around the drum. I'll try and keep my hands out of the way. What we want to do is go around this tensioner and loop it back around this uh, drive post here. So, try to show this. Quite right on the drum. Let's try it again. Okay, I'm actually going to check up top to see if it's still in the same track that it was when it was on it before. Okay, it's not quite straight. Let's see what happens if we rotate that now. Actually, I probably need to put the front back on, so maybe I'll do that. This is still uh, wobbly in here, and it might not be, it might not be seated right because of that. So. I'm going to put the facing back on and uh, I'll have to work from it um, with the front on.
after a few rotations of the drum, everything still stayed in place down here. The belt's still uh, on the post, the tension is on the pulley. Everything seems to be in uh, working order. So let's close it up, finish putting on the front panel, and try it out. Okay, so we got it in place. I'm just going to test it now. Hold in the door switch. And... Perfect. All right. Well, that's it. So uh, if you like that, if it was helpful, hit subscribe, hit like, and uh, stick around for the next video. It will be a couple of weeks. We don't know what we're doing yet, but uh, we are in a 55-year-old house. So something's going to go wrong, and we're going to have to fix it. See you later.